Hey Home Slice, happy November 1st. I hope you had a great Halloween, and if you went trick-or-treating, save your wrappers because we can turn them into purses. You can make the bag any size you'd like. The larger the bag, the more candy you'll have to eat. This DIY does take a lot of time and patience to make, and just to show you how to make this, I'm going to demonstrate the steps on a separate model, but the final product should look something like this. These are ones that I've made in the past out of newspapers and magazines and Tootsie Pop wrappers. You will need a number of candy wrappers depending on how large the purse will be, sheets of newspaper, clear tape, some felt, a zipper, thin string, a large needle, a small needle, and some thread, and a pair of scissors. Start by cutting the newspapers into about four and a quarter by five and a half inch rectangles. Take a piece of tape and a candy wrapper and mount that onto the center of a piece of newspaper. And do this with all of your candy wrappers. Next is folding, so take a rectangle and fold it in half lengthwise with the wrapper on the outside. Open it up and fold one flap into the crease. Take the remaining flap and fold that over the other. Take what you have and fold that in half again lengthwise. Fold that in half so it makes a V shape. Take one half and fold that into the crease and then take the other half and fold that into the crease as well. Now you're left with a smaller V and repeat this process with the rest of the candy wrappers. The next step is to link all of the wrappers together, so take one wrapper and insert its flaps through the holes of another. Continue to link the wrappers until you have the desired length. For this model, I made three links with 20 wrappers in each. The Tootsie Pop purse had four links with 30 wrappers in each. To join the ends of the links, take out two flaps on the last link and fold it inward through the link on the other end. Putting all the links together is the trickiest part since there is no exact way to do it. Have one end of the string tied to the large needle and the other end tied to one link inside the circle on the bottom row. Pull the needle through the openings in the links. The trick is to find a path through the links to get on the opposite side from where you began sewing. You don't have to be neat on the inside since it will be covered up later on. Once you've made it through to the opposite side from where you started, pull the needle through the fronts of the links. Neatness does count on the front, so once again find a path through the links and guide the needle until it ends up on the opposite side. Once it's there, work on sewing the inside. So the sewing pattern is to start on the inside, find a path through the links on the inside, end up on the opposite side, sew through the fronts of the links, and continue until you've made it around the entire circle. Here's a tip, if you think you're running out of string, end on the inside of the circle, tie it off, Rethread the needle and start again on the first step of the sewing process. Essentially, the sewing pattern is the same when you add on another line of wrappers. So start from the inside and work your way to the outside. Of course, yours will look much better than this since you'll take your time, but now on to sewing the bottom. Well, I ran out of thin string, so I'll just show you with yarn. Start by tying the string to one link and move from side to side sewing through the inside holes of the links. The pattern for sewing the bottom is making X's or zigzags through the inside holes of the links. The yarn was still visible, but with thin string, the bottom comes out much cleaner as it did on my Tootsie Pop clutch. Next, I'm making a pouch for the inside to hold my things. For this size purse, I'm using a 7.25 by 6.25 inch piece of felt and folding that in half. To get an idea of how large the fabric should be, lay it on top of the purse and cut it down to a size where you can see all sides of the purse. The zipper is going to be sewn on first to the longest open side of the felt. Take the small needle and thread and sew the point on the zipper where it will be cut down to match the length of the felt. And I'm using a sewing machine to connect the parts. Undo the zipper to sew the other side. Now sew the two open parallel sides. 
Stuff the pouch inside, take the small needle and thread and tie it to the inside of one link, then sew through the felt pouch so it stays put. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this DIY, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye!